How would each planet appear if the moon were removed? The moon is our natural satellite. It produces tides on Earth and illuminates the night sky on nights with a full moon. Life on Earth is dependent on the moon, but what if the moon were a planet? What effects would it have on Earth if we replaced the moon with Jupiter or Venus? How would the sky appear if Saturn were in the moon's place? In this video, we will let your imagination run wild as we investigate what would happen if we substituted the moon for each planet. Let's get going. Hello everyone, welcome back to Z. Subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you won't miss any update. Mercury. Let's begin with the planet nearest to the sun. Mercury is a small planet, however it is larger than the moon. If Mercury were to replace the moon in our night sky, it would have a diameter of 4,880 kilometers, approximately 3.7 times that of the moon, giving it a more prominent aspect from Earth. Due to Mercury's proximity to Earth, it would appear much brighter than the moon in the night sky, with an apparent magnitude ranging from minus 2.5 to minus 0.8. Additionally, Mercury's proximity to Earth would have significant effects on the tides. Its greater gravitation than that of the Moon would result in significantly more extreme tides. Significant changes in the level and distribution of the Earth's oceans would affect both the living organisms that inhabit them and the human activities that depend on them, such as fisheries and maritime transport. Due to its larger diameter and greater luminosity, Mercury would appear to have a surface covered with craters and cliffs in the night sky, which would be visible from Earth. Mercury differs greatly from the Moon and its presence in the night sky would be an intriguing sight for astronomy enthusiasts. Mercury, despite being the planet closest to the Sun, is a celestial object that has not been thoroughly investigated. If Mercury were in the Moon's place, it would be a much closer and brighter object in the night sky, making it easier to examine its surface and features in detail. In addition, this exploration could disclose crucial information about the history of the solar system and the formation of the planets. Mercury is the planet that most closely resembles the Moon, so if we were to replace the Moon with Mercury, we would not observe a significant difference other than during the nights of the full Moon, or rather, full Mercury. Venus If Venus were to replace the Moon in the night sky, the result would be a remarkable and brilliant sight. Even though Venus is marginally smaller than Earth, its proximity would make it appear considerably larger than the Moon. In addition, Venus is one of the brightest known objects, so its presence in the night sky would be even more remarkable. However, because Venus is so much more massive than the Moon, its proximity would have a significant impact on Earth's tides, leading to flooding and other coastal issues such as rising sea levels and the movement of vast air masses in naturally arid regions. In addition, substituting Venus for the Moon would have significant effects on the inclination of the Earth and the duration of the days and months. Because Venus rotates in the opposite direction from Earth, there is a possibility that Earth's rotation would decelerate down, resulting in significantly longer days and months. Remember that the Moon and Earth exhibit tidal coupling because the Earth's gravitational force is greater than that of the Moon. However, Venus has a diameter and mass comparable to Earth's, so its influence on the rotation of our planet would also be greater. This could also affect the inclination of the Earth, leading to significant seasonal and global climate changes. From Earth's perspective, Venus would appear to be a massive ball of brilliant yellow color. This color is a result of Venus's voluminous atmosphere, which reflects a significant portion of the sunlight that reaches the planet. Due to its voluminous atmosphere, Venus may be the planet that reflects the most light from the Sun to Earth, reflecting 60% more light than the Moon. This would halt the nights from being so dark, and under its intense light it would be possible to see at night. Placing Venus in the position of the Moon would result in both planets orbiting each other around a common mass center, creating a binary system in which both planets orbit the Sun while revolving around each other. If this occurs, tidal coupling between the two planets is a possibility. Thus, one aspect of the Earth always points towards Venus and one face of Venus always points towards the Earth. 
Something unusual but unbelievable. Mars. Mars has a diameter of approximately 6,779 kilometers, whereas the Moon has a diameter of 3,448 kilometers. If Mars replaced the Moon in the night sky, we would no longer see our natural satellite as a white orb with dark spots, but as a massive crimson orb. Mars, unlike Venus, is too small to induce tidal coupling with Earth or to form a binary system of planets revolving around a common mass center. However, due to Earth's size, its tides would be twice as powerful as the Moon's. Its proximity would also cause a change in the brightness and apparent size of the night sky, which would be an impressive sight for observers on Earth, as the nights would no longer be illuminated with a white light like that of the full moon, but with a red light emanating from the reflection of light on Mars. Due to its small size and low mass, Mars would not substantially affect the tilt of our planet, the length of days and months, or the seasons on Earth. The most significant change would occur during solar eclipses, as Mars, Mercury, and Venus, being larger than the Moon, would obscure the Sun for extended durations. Jupiter Now we turn to the heavyweights, the gas giants. Unlike the rocky planets, they are hundreds of times larger than the Earth, so if they were to take the place of the Moon, the roles would be reversed, that is, the Earth would orbit these planets rather than the other way around. If we were to replace the moon with Jupiter, for instance, the Earth would become one of Jupiter's 95 moons. The appearance of Earth would be comparable to that of the other moons that orbit Jupiter, such as Ganymede, Io, Europa, and Callisto. These natural satellites are larger than the moon, with Ganymede being even larger than Mercury. If Jupiter were placed in the position corresponding to the Moon, it would occupy a substantial portion of the space between the Earth and the Moon. Jupiter is 1,321 times larger than Earth, the planet with the most mass, and has more mass than all the other planets in the solar system combined. As a result, its gravitational attraction force is enormous. If the Earth were to orbit Jupiter, it would have to do so very quickly in order to counteract Jupiter's gravitational force and prevent a collision with the gas giant. As a result, the Earth would orbit Jupiter every seven days, just as Ganymede does. This would result in an inexorable tidal coupling on Earth, where one side of the planet would always point toward Jupiter. In addition, the tidal forces exerted by Jupiter on Earth would result in the migration of magma within the Earth and the deformation of tectonic plates, as well as the elevation of ocean waters. This would result in earthquakes and earthquakes, as well as sporadic volcanic eruptions and the emergence of new volcanoes in relatively brief periods of time. It is known that the tidal forces of Jupiter cause cryovolcanoes to erupt on the moon Europa. If this occurs on the moon, it is likely that the same will occur on Earth, but instead of ice volcanoes, we would experience lava volcanoes that would cause natural disasters accompanied by dense clouds of smoke. Additionally, orbiting Jupiter would cause the axis of the Earth and the seasons to change. All of this would result in drastic changes to our planet, which could render existence unsustainable. As Jupiter is thousands of times larger than the Moon, it would obscure a significant portion of the night sky, obscuring many of the visible stars. Solar eclipses would also be extraordinary. Although the correct term would not be eclipse but occultation since Jupiter's enormous size would completely obscure the Sun for several hours, the Moon would be between the Earth and the Sun, as it is during solar eclipses. If the Earth orbited Jupiter, Jupiter would stand between the Earth and the Sun during an occultation, much like in the science fiction film Avatar. In the film, it is demonstrated how this phenomenon occurs on the planet Pandora. Saturn Saturn undoubtedly represents the worst-case circumstance. But why? Because of the asteroid ring that encircles it. Saturn has a vast asteroid ring that distinguishes it from other planets in the solar system, while other gas planets also have asteroid rings, Saturn's is the largest and most colorful of all. In all gaseous planets, the Earth would transform into the Moon, not the other way around. If Saturn were to take the position of the Moon, the Earth would orbit extremely close to its rings, which would not be desirable. 
While the sight would be impressive, Earth's gravity would eventually attract a small portion of these asteroids, causing them to occasionally descend to Earth's surface as meteorites. And if the movies have taught us anything, it is that meteorites are not conducive to the growth of life. In addition to the constant impact of meteorites from Saturn's asteroid ring, Jupiter is large, enormous, and has numerous natural satellites, so its effects on Earth's surface and atmosphere would be very similar to those of Jupiter. Certainly orbiting around gas giants is a significant problem. Uranus and Neptune We have decided to position these two planets at the same location because the conditions on each will be very similar. Uranus and Neptune would appear enormous from Earth if they were located where the moon is, and they would radiate an intense blue light at night if they were situated where the moon is. Its effects on Earth would be less pronounced than those of Jupiter and Saturn, but it would still influence the tides and duration of the days and months in a comparable manner. On the other hand, these planets are icy. By placing them closer to the sun, the heat they would receive would also increase. It is possible that this would cause chemical changes in their atmospheres and cause them to change color, but this is merely a hypothesis based on similar exoplanets discovered in other solar systems. As can be seen, placing a planet in place of the moon would result in minor alterations and the extinction of all life on the planet. This serves as a reminder of how fortunate we are to have the moon as a natural satellite. Alright guys, the video ends here. What are your thoughts? Tell us in the comments, and if you find it valuable, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.